Welcome back to DNJ React, where music sparks conversation yeah, every day. In today's conversation, it's the untold story of BTS Sugar beating depression. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it had to do with uh, his crash back in the day and like his, it was his, his shoulder, shoulder being messed up and stuff, and you know having to keep it a secret from yeah. the label to be able to keep performing. So I don't know. We're, we're about to jump in, we're about to see. But before we do, thank you everybody on GoFundMe, Patreon, and YouTube for all your love and support. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. With that being said, let's jump in. The biggest smiles hide the most pain. K-pop idols must be under a lot of pressure since a lot of them reportedly experience this mental illness at least once in their life. Especially for BTS, one of the top artist groups today. Being in the spotlight takes a hefty toll on the members' health. Armies are worried that the members seem to suffer from constant stress, that they may be developing unhealthy habits. Depression is a silent killer. The music industry is really stressful. Jam-packed schedules, obsessed fans, being pushed to the top of the charts, there's no downtime for them at all. It's always work, work, work. This dark side of the industry needs to be solved. A few members have shown their support on the matter, but one member caught our eye. Suga, or Ming Yoongi, revealed that he went through depression for many years. You'll notice the drastic change of his appearance ever since debut. He didn't smile very much until recently. How did Suga beat depression? Suga turns into his alternate identity when he wants to be honest with his fans. Ogs D from Suga Dangu Town isn't afraid to speak the truth. In his first mixtape released in 2016, he didn't shy away from opening up about his illness. First Love was his first solo song that we related to the most. He mentions his love for music and his piano being his first love but his parents were against his dreams, so he had to fight for what he loved. Back then, Suga was so poor that so he young. entered jobs oh, yeah. that didn't guarantee a pay. With only little money, he would choose to spend on bus fares instead of food. He went days without eating to save enough money for his passion. I honestly think That's pretty I pretty impressive would... for a young guy like that to, yeah. to realize like, hey, this could actually like look at the long term vision at such a young age because yeah. most people are like, oh, I'm hungry. Like I need to eat right now. Like, exactly. Being a young kid and seeing like the future, like, oh, I could be this big idol in the future. So let me yeah. just get the practice. Well, I mean, co most kids would give in to their current wants and needs now rather than, like you said, looking at the long term of what could be. So. I'll sacrifice what I need at the moment so that I can have something better down the road, right. which he did, which is pretty impressive. That's super impressive. I wouldn't be able to do this if I were in his shoes. Suga is the bravest. I honestly think he deserves all the love from armies. Depression is a sensitive topic. Not all people are comfortable speaking of. At least for Yoongi, he has music. He always writes about his depression and struggles through his songs. Because he was so anxious and sad, he developed a bad habit that is also considered a psychological disorder. He would bite his fingernails mm -hmm. nonstop, Oof. and this left us all worried. Ow, Music geez. truly became his therapy, and he wishes that we would do the same. He describes depression as those sorts of negative emotions come and go. So it's almost like cold weather. It may come back in cycle over a year, year and a half. We understand how you feel, Yoongi. Depression sucks, but following an idol like him makes everything bearable. Fortunately, Suga overcame his depression just by writing music. He even showed us his nails to prove that he stopped doing his bad habit. You don't know how proud I was after seeing that. Army and the other members have been with him through thick and thin. Right now, he's an advocate for mental health and an inspiration to all of us. You're still here. You must have enjoyed this video about I'm uh I'm shocked they didn't talk about him like running into the car with his moped and like his shoulder injury and all that, like hiding that for a while. Yeah, I thought that would have been part of it, you know, part of the reason for the depression, like you said. I mean, that was a big part of his past. You yeah. Know, and things he was having to hide, so but I mean, there's so much else they 
goes on behind the scenes oh, yeah. too that can cause someone to be depressed in this industry so i mean there's probably so much they're not even telling you too because it's more personal you know they don't want the world to know that yeah. stuff but but like he said at least he had music as an outlet that was his way of expressing and getting it out of his system yeah so it's nice he had that yeah that's good um good stuff guys let us know uh if you guys have any more videos just like this uh we'd be more than happy to do them for you with that being said, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more. Jump over to Patreon. We're giving seven days away for free and 15% discount when you pay up front for the year. You guys can vote on all the polls, throw a bunch of songs at us that you guys want us to do, and we'll add them to our list. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.